That's right. Here at Mowers and Blowers, we push them into the garage and they come out driving. So it's the next day and it's raining out. Another lousy day. I can't work outside. Uh, on this tractor, tire seems to be deflated after uh, sitting in the backyard the entire winter. Remove the, uh, the uh, valve from the stem. I'm going to put a little bit of ATF into this tire just to see if this will fix the uh, leak because it has a pretty good crack on it. Just going to put about eight ounces of this stuff in there. This is just automatic transmission fluid in an old slime bottle. I use the slime bottle because the hose attaches right onto the uh, valve stem of the wheel as it's supposedly designed, you know? So it makes for a good applicator of putting in ATF. Once I put in uh, eight ounces or <laughs> more of ATF in there, put the valve back in here again, use the uh, little tool thing that it comes with, put the valve back in there onto the stem, and then pump it up, pump it up. So ideally you want to drive it around just to coat the inner part of the tire with all the ATF, right? But I'm not going to go out, so I might jack up the front and just spin this a little bit, you know? Ooh. Today. I'm going to be removing this rotted, rusted deck from this lawn tractor and replacing it with a rebuilt one, which I'm going to rebuild today. This deck over here is in much better condition. It has a little surface rust, which I'm just going to repaint. Also, it needs a new spindle and pulley and blade. Now, this spindle, blade, and pulley is seized, rusted shut. You can't even move it. So I'm going to have to try to unseize it. What I mean by seized is, this is the part that's supposed to move upwards and downwards to loosen and tighten the tension of the mower deck belt. And it's seized in this spot. It has to be able to go up and down like this. Also, at the bottom, the blades don't move. The spindle shaft is frozen and rusted, so it's seized. We're gonna have to try to fix that. Because these blades are seized, I'm gonna have to try to loosen them up. The bearing is right here near the spindle shaft. Today I'm using some deep creep, penetrating oil, and lubricant from Seafoam. Look at that. Um, bubbly actions going on here on the bottom too because it foams it stays in place instead of drips down I'm going to be generous coating this entire area with some penetrating oil now we're going to get to this area here that needs to be unseized as well as you can see, this assembly right here has two pulleys. They move freely, but this pivot point is right here. I'm just gonna flood this area with this deep creep and see it perform its magic. Now while we let it perform its magic, we gotta go get some black paint. Off to Home Depot. Road trip!
Can I have a number one uh, large uh, upgrade the drink to a chocolate milkshake with whipped cream? Number one ice with the go? No, number one upgrade to a large chocolate milkshake with whipped cream. Anything else? Uh, 20 piece spicy McNuggets. We don't have spicy nuggets anymore. Oh no? Okay, just regular 20 piece McNuggets. Any sauce? Uh, the hot mustard, please. Anything else? Uh, yeah, you still have the two uh, fish of filet for $6? For $6, yes, ma'am. Can I have uh, two without cheese? Sure, anything else? No, that's it. You know, it says you have the spicy nuggets. You just don't have them today? No, man. We don't have the spicy nuggets. Okay. I'm sorry. It, it's over. It, we done yesterday. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah yesterday was Because your sign is still there. <laughs> I will change uh, that later. Okay. Thank have you. Nice day. What's the total? 2768. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, you got to have a chocolate milkshake. Their straws are paper. Good to recycle. I hope I don't get a bellyache from this. So I'm back from the store. Got some supplies, some paint and all that. Some silicone that I needed and some Gorilla Tape. So it's been sitting for a while, soaking. Let's see if I'm with my hand, whether or not I'm, I'm gonna be able to move this. Ooh, how about that? Moves a little, not fully. Working it back and forth. Now this thing is loose like butter. Now let's see if the penetrating oil loosened up the blades. Mm, wow! Holy cow! Ow about that! That's unbelievable! That stuff really works! <laughs> Incredible! It's just a jolt! Incredible! Sweet! Got a can of this flat black! Quick color for 98 cents from Home Depot. I'm just gonna go over the ru uh, rusted spots. I'm not gonna go crazy. This part over here is not even visible to the user hidden underneath the tractor. I just wanna clean up the sides a little bit, make it look nicer. As you see, just coated it nicely and uh, looks great. Uh, I'm going to wait until this paint dries. Shouldn't take all that long. And then I'm going to install this spindle. I'm going to remove this top pulley nut off the shaft with the washer. Pulley comes right off, somewhat splined. Insert this from the bottom. Got three screws to go through the holes on the top. Uh, bolts. This is a brand new Stens 21 inch blade. And as you can see, it's brand new. This deck might be too good to put on this tractor. <laughs> Don't do it, Henry. Wait until the paint dries. I'm so impatient, I can't wait. You gotta make a mess, Henry! Oh, sh shut up.
Now you put the pulley on. If you have new things, it's easy to fix. As you can see, I'm still missing something. This is the pulley brake for this side, but it doesn't look like it fits. And also, it's missing the brake pad on it. Also, it's missing a little bit of a post there that holds a spring to allow it to spring back. See, like that. Also, this goes this way to engage. But when you disengage it, it needs to come back by itself. So it's missing a spring right here. It goes from here to there. Like that. I've got a few springs here from my box of parts. This one over here looks like it'll fit. Just gonna install it right now with one hand. Mm. There you go. back. I'm in my box of parts in the back and I have like <laughs> seven of these but only one of them still has a little bit of the brake pad on there. So I'm going to grab this one. Also the post where the spring goes on to to pull the return arm back. I've got four of them here and looks like these two are set, and these... Actually, they all look different, don't they? I'm just gonna bring them all with me. Found this one. Looks like it fits well. one has the brake pad on it. So I've got that all taken care of. You take a look at the arms, pull down, Brakes lift up from the from stopping the pulley. We've got this post here that has the return spring that pulls this arm back. Everything works as it should. Now this arm doesn't have a, a, a brake. The brake fell off, so I just put some silicone on the end of it. I don't know if it's going to be easy, good enough to for it to stop, but it's all I got, so I'm just going to try it and then the tension holds it in place. I'm gonna let that cure, and then I'm gonna get a, uh, I'm gonna get a um, belt, which is right there. We'll install the belt, and then we'll get to install the deck and replace the old one. I only have one front hanger for this, my friend Nick Iardi has the other ones. This doesn't look like it fits anything. Just need the other one, but I'll take it off of that one and get the other one from Nick someday. So that's it. Unseizing the seized spindles on this good deck putting some new spindles, pulleys, and uh, uh, spindles on this one, right? Getting the brake arms and uh, tension springs placed on here, unseizing the mechanism that uh, the tensioner arm works with uh, tightening the belt when it's installed. Uh, repainting this again to get ready to put this good deck on this Swiss cheese deck. So we'll do a, a deck replacement 
in another video. You know, after painting this and drying, if you look at it, this is the real first time I'm using the flat black quick color. It doesn't really look as good as the gloss, does it? Maybe I should go over it again with some gloss. What do you guys think? Ah, it's just a deck, right? I think the deck is supposed to be flat black anyway. Anyway, that's my video for today. Took two days to do. <laughs> See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. See you guys next, next time on Mowers and Blowers. <laughs> hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, remember to give me a like. Also, comment below. Subscribe. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free, right? Also, hit that little bell. That way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them. Remember to follow my Instagram and Facebook, as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.